Large, all right. It's the biggest mud cake ever made in Cuddlestown. And bigger is better. I don't know, Amy. Is bigger better? Oh, no. It's starting to rain. Quick, let's get under a tree. Oh, no. Look at your mud cake. Looks like the town's biggest mud cake has become the town's biggest puddle. Oh, what a pity you don't have a cubby house, Bananas. Yes, then we could keep playing even in the rain. We'd better run, Morgan. Bye, Bye bananas. bananas. Bye, teddies. Hmm, a cubby house. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's let's get a cubby house time. Oh, just look at this room. So much space going to waste. Hello, Rat. We want to buy a cubby house, please. A what? A nice big one. Really? Bananas? I don't sell cubby houses. They're far too big for my little shop. Oh, that's disappointing, B1. Very disappointing, B2. Hello, Bananas. Hello, Rat. I want to buy some bookshelves, please. What's got into everyone today? Bookshelves? Cubby houses? They're much too big to keep in my little shop. Oh, what a pity. You know, Rat, someone in Cuddles Avenue should open a shop that sells big things. Like cubby houses. And bookshelves. Big things? Where would anyone get the space to... Wait a minute. I've got all that space in my back room. Why don't I open a shop that sells big things? There's a lot of noise coming from Rat's shop, B1. Let's find out what's going on, B2. Hello, Rat. Can we come in? Sorry, Bananas. The shop's closed until I'm finished. Finished what, Rat? You'll see. It's a mystery, B1. A mysterious mystery, B2. Hello, Bananas. Is Rat's shop closed? Afraid so, Teddies. But only until Rat's finished. Finished what? Uh, we don't know. But we want to do our shopping. So do we. Me too. <laughs> It's all right, everyone. You can come in now and prepare for a big surprise. Oh, I love surprises, B1. Me too, B2. Welcome to Rat's Superstore. Oh! Bananatastic. Uh, what exactly is a superstore, Rat? A store that sells everything. Everything. Everything? Even cubby houses? Even bookshelves? Even cubby houses and bookshelves. There is nothing this store doesn't sell. Come on, B1. Let's get our cubby house right away. Come on, Teddies. Let's get our bookshelves. Wait! There's one very important rule in my superstore. Watch that, Rat. See these arrows? You must follow them at all times. Off you go! Can you see cubby houses anywhere, B2? I can't see anything except arrows, B1. Let's go this way, B2. Are you all right, B1? I think so, B2. Look, B1, I think there's a cubby house over there. You're right, B2. We'd like to buy this cubby house, please, Rat. Oh, and we'd like to buy these bookshelves, please. My pleasure. 
rat, this box doesn't look big enough to have a cubby house inside it. And this box doesn't look big enough to hold bookshelves. <laughs> They're in pieces inside the boxes. In pieces? You mean our cubby house is all broken? <laughs> no, 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 no. All the parts are there. You just have to put it together. We have to put it together? By ourselves? That's right. That's all part of the fun of shopping in a superstore. There's a lot of pieces, isn't there, B1? A huge lot of pieces, B2. How will we know where to start? Look, B2, the instructions. They'll tell us what to do. Let's get started. What do you think, B1? Pajamarific, B2. Uh, it doesn't quite look like the picture, does it, B1? Well, not exactly like it, B2. Oh, oh dear. dear. Hello, bananas. Hello, teddies. We need your help putting our cubby house together. You need our help? That's funny. We were about to ask if you could help us. Uh, what's that thing, Teddies? It's supposed to be our new bookshelves. Don't you think it looks like the picture? Uh, not exactly like the picture. Unless you close your eyes a bit. Try it out, Lulu. Oh, this isn't working at all. I'm calling Rat. Rat Superstore? Oh, hello, Lulu. What? You can't follow the instructions. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's all right. I'll put it together for you. It's uh, uh, perfectly simple, really. So, how do we start? Well, we just... Um, I know. Cheese and whiskers. Oh dear. Brad, are you all right? Well, not really, Charlie. But I know how much you enjoy making things, so I thought you might help me put these together. Hmm. Have you got the instructions? Instructions? Oh, uh, oh I must have left them behind. But it's very easy. I'm sure you won't need them. Are you really sure? A positive, Charlie. Just let me know when you've finished. Bye. But, Rat, what is it I'm supposed to be making? Rat! I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a super clever rat. Hello, Rat. Have you finished our cubby house yet? Uh, not quite, Bananas. That's good, because first we want to buy some yellow jelly for our picnic. Not a problem. I'll show you where it is. Now, was it in this aisle or the next? Oh, that's funny. I know yellow jelly is around here somewhere. Oh, dear. Everything all right, Rat? Excellent. Perfect. Any luck with the cubby house? Charlie's putting the cubby house together. Oh, uh, yes, I forgot to tell you. I asked Charlie if he just add a few finishing touches. So how is it? It's all together. It is? But it's so big, I had to build it in the park. You built our cubby house in the park? I had to. Come on, I'll show you. Well, what do you think? It's banana-tastic! You did a great job, Charlie. Thank you. My pleasure, bananas. Let's try it out, B1. Right behind you, B2. Did you put the bookshelves together too? What bookshelves? I thought everything you gave me was part of the cubby house. 
Oh dear. Wow! Is this your new cubby house, Bananas? It sure is, Teddies. And it's for everyone in Cuddles Avenue. Come and play! Wait a minute. Aren't those our bookshelves coming out the window? Oh! Uh, are they? Uh, there might have been a slight mix-up. Look, Lulu! The bookshelves make great slides! Whee! Don't worry, Rat. They're more fun here than they would be as our shelves. Quickly! Come on up! It's going to rain! Right, everyone. Help yourselves. Honey cakes all around. Sorry, they're only small. That's fine by us, Bananas. We've decided we like small things. Small cakes. Small mud pies. And especially small shops. I couldn't agree more. Which is why tomorrow you're all invited to the reopening of my dear old small shop. The Rat Superstore will close forever. Yay! And a one, and a two. Bananas in, bananas out. Bananas shake it all about. Be a star! Do the banana! We are! Banana-tastic B2! Pajama-rific B1! Look at the time, B2! Time to help the teddies, B1! Good, Good morning, morning, teddies! Good morning, bananas! We're here to help. Just tell us what to do. Uh, you could blow up these balloons. We can, and we will. Do you have your dance ready for tonight, Bananas? We do, Amy. We hope you'll like it. Everyone loves your dances. Uh, not everyone. You're right, Morgan. Not everyone dances. Because not everyone comes to the Cuddles Town dance. <laughs> uh, pardon, Bananas? Burn it! Right. Bernard never comes to our dances. I wonder why. It's a mystery. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. This mystery needs solving. And we should be the ones to solve it. It's mystery solving time! More balloons, please, bananas. Bananas? Bernard! It's the bananas! I must get away before they find me. Good morning, good morning Bernard! Bernard. Uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 good morning to you, bananas. We're here to solve a mystery, Bernard. The mystery of why you never come to the Cuddles Town dance. Oh, uh, <laughs> that mystery. You always make an excuse not to come. Or you go away. Uh, uh, do I? Why do you have a bag, Bernard? Are you going away? Uh, oh, uh, uh, all right then. Uh, come inside, Bananas. I'll tell you everything. This mystery solving is going to be easier than we thought. A mystery no more. You're right, Bananas. I was about to leave to avoid going to the dance. Just like I always do. But why, Bernard? Why do you never come? It's very simple, Bananas. Because I can't dance. Is that it? I can't go to the Cuddlestown dance and not dance. It would be terribly embarrassing. So I'm going to my little cottage by the lake. Don't go, Bernard. It doesn't matter if you can't dance. I'm sorry, Bananas. It matters very much. We can teach you. Oh, impossible. There's not nearly enough time. We can do it. Starting right now. What uh, is all this, Bananas? Why are you drawing all over my floor? It's a dance game, Bernard. By playing our game, you'll be able to dance. It'll be so easy. I see. Mm. 
No, no, no. No, I don't. Uh, explain yourselves. You just have to step where we say. Like this. And a one. And a two. Cloud. Star. Heart. Moon. Star. Moon. Cloud. Heart. It's very silly, though. You won't feel silly if you join in, Bernard. You'll have fun. Watch! Watch. Moon, cloud, heart, star. Heart, heart cloud, star, moon, cloud, star, cloud, moon, moon, cloud, moon! How do you think we went, B2? Brilliant, B1. OK, Bernard, now it's your... Bernard? Where are you? Bernard can't dance? So that's why he never comes to our special night. We tried to teach him, but we couldn't. Poor Bernard. He's missing out on all the fun. And, and now, now he's, he's gone. gone. We'll find him bananas. Uh, but where do we start looking? Well, he did say... I know. The mountains. He really likes going up there. But Bernard told us... He might like the mountains, but he loves the beach. That's where we should look first. Teddy's, I think... Not me. His favourite place is down by the river. That's definitely where he'll be. Uh, would anyone like to come down by the lake? Where Bernard has his little shack. No way he'll be there. Yes, that's the last place he'd go. You go there anyway, Bananas. We can all meet there once I find him. Except it'll be me who finds him. Unless it's me. Oh, yes, this is what I want. Peace and quiet. I won't look silly here. It'll be just the fish and me. Bernard! What? Bernard! Are you here, Bernard? Oh, bother. I can't let them find me. Bernard? Look, isn't that his bag? Definitely Bernard's bag. So maybe he is here after all. Bernard! There he is. Don't go, Bernard. We just want to talk to you. I told you, Bananas. I'm not a dancer. I can't do it. But, Bernard, you don't understand. You were right, Bananas. Bernard is here. If only we'd listen to you. That doesn't matter, Teddies. We have to talk to Bernard. Wait, Bernard! I'm a Barkington. Barkingtons don't dance ever. <laughs> Bernard! Are you OK, Bernard? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Perfectly all right, if somewhat soaked. We're sorry for chasing you, Bernard. We only wanted to speak with you. It'll do no good. I won't come to the dance because I cannot, will not, dance. Bernard, you're moving up and down, swinging back and forth, going this way and that. You're, you're dancing. dancing! Nice moves, Bernard. Fantastic moves. I'm not trying to dance. I've got a fish in my clothes. It's the wriggly fish dance. Everyone do the wriggly fish dance. So there you are, you naughty fish. There's only one thing for you. Off you go now. You did it, Bernard! Amazing! You danced! I did? A Jamarama dance! I actually danced? How extraordinary! <laughs> <laughs> and a one. And a two. Bananas in, bananas out. Bananas shake it all about. Be a star. Do the banana. We are. Wonderful to see you here, Bernard. 
Marvellous, in fact. It's never a true Cuddlestown celebration without you. Never, ever. <laughs> Thank you. You're all so kind. What wonderful friends I have. Excuse us, Bernard. We have a favour to ask. Of course, Bananas. Ask away. It's about your special dance, the Wrigley Fish Dance. Oh, no. no. Sorry. Any favour but that one. I've danced once today, and that will do me for many more years to come. No, we don't want you to dance it, Bernard. We want to dance it with everyone else here to celebrate you being here tonight. Really? Only if you don't mind. Do you? Of course I don't mind. I'd be honoured. Thanks, Bernard. Come on, everyone. It's, it's really fish dance time. Yay! <laughs> Oh, 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 bananas! What would we do without you? like about today, B2? Everything, B1? Everything, B2. Ooh! But I especially like the flowers. They are beautiful. <laughs> oh. You know what we should do, B2? Pick some flowers and take them home. That's exactly it, B2. <laughs> You know what else we should do, B1? Pick some more flowers so we can share them with our friends. That's exactly it again, B1. <coughs> now to find a friend to give the flowers to, B2. <coughs> we should give the flowers to a special friend, B1. But all our friends are special, B2. Right. So maybe we should give them to someone who really likes flowers. Good idea. Hi, Bananas! <coughs> Good morning, Topsy. Wow, I love those flowers. Look at all those colours. Oh, they smell so nice. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's flowers for a friend time. These are for you, Topsy. <gasps> for me? Oh, no. I, I, I can't take your flowers from you. Yes, you can. These are for a friend. And you're that friend. Wow! Thanks, Bananas! Our beehive looks like it's full. Mmm, full of honey. The bees have been busy all spring, collecting nectar from flowers. And more nectar means more honey for me. Uh, and you, too. Hello, teddies! Look at my beautiful flowers! <gasps> They're so pretty! And they smell terrific! Where did you get them? The bananas gave them to me. We just had to pick some and share them with our friends. Oh, these are for me. Well, uh... Oh, bananas! That's so nice of you! The thing is, Amy... What good friends you both are! Um, they are for you, Amy. Thank you, bananas. So... No flowers for us? Aren't we your friends too? Um, of course you're our friends. Two of our very best friends. And there are flowers for you. We just have to get them right, right away. away. I'll pick some for Lulu, B2. And I'll pick some for Morgan, B1. Then all our friends will be happy. Hi, Bananas. Good morning, Pedro. 
great flowers. Glad you like them. They're a gift for our friends. Gee, thanks. That's so nice. Thanks, Pedro. What's so nice? Uh, giving me a gift. They are for me, aren't they? Well... Um... Or maybe they're not for me. Maybe I'm not a good enough friend. You're a great friend, Pedro. And these flowers are for you. Thanks, Bananas. Well, I never... Never, ever. Flowers for Pedro. But not for us. We love flowers too. Or aren't we good enough friends to deserve them? Of course you're good friends, Camembert. Two of the best friends we could want. And we do have flowers for you, Camembert. And for you too, Dolly. We just have to go pick them. Right now. We still need flowers for Amy and Morgan. And now we need flowers for Dolly and Camembert too. Otherwise our friends won't think they're our friends anymore. And what about our other friends, B1? Like Rat. And Charlie. And Bernard. Oomph! This will be a big job, B2. We need to be prepared. Right. I'll get a barrow, B2. And I'll get one too, B1. We need lots of flowers, B2. Because we have lots of friends, B1. Wow! <sighs> flowers for you, Camembert. How lovely, B1. Flowers for you, Dolly. How delightful, B2. Sorry, can't stop. Have to go. Flowers, flowers for, for everyone. everyone. Those bunches of flowers bigger than the bunch I got. I wouldn't be surprised, Pedro. Dolly and I are very good friends of the bananas. Very, very good friends. Is that it, B2? That's it, B1. Every one of our friends has flowers. No one missed out. Oh. We don't have any flowers. What should we do, B2? Go and pick some more, B1. Right. There we are, B1. Our friends have flowers. And we have flowers. Good morning, B2. Good morning, B1. I am so hungry, B2. Breakfast's coming up, B1. Oh, oh no! no. What's happened, B2? They're all droopy. We must have waited too long to put them in water. Not to worry. We can go out and get some more. And maybe a few extra, in case any of our friends' flowers have drooped too. Good idea, B1. Nice, fresh flowers. Here we come. Whoa! Hello, bees. It's me, Amy. Can you spare us a little honey, please? <laughs> oh, it's OK. If you don't want me to take any, I won't. Why are you so angry? The bananas? You're angry at the bananas. Oh, no! The bananas are in serious trouble. Where should we start, B2? Wherever you like, B1. Whoa! What happened to the flowers, B2? I think we picked them all, B1. And did we make this big mess of the field? I think we did, B1. Are you buzzing, B2? I thought you were buzzing, B1. I'm not buzzing. Then who's buzzing? Aha! Uh -huh. the, the bees, bees are, are buzzing. buzzing! That buzz doesn't sound very happy. Not very happy at all. Is something wrong, bees? Us? 
Are you unhappy with us? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's run fast time! Ah! Hi, Bananas! Oh, good, good morning, morning Topsy. Topsy. Hey, those flowers you gave me, they were all droopy this morning. Yeah, we know. That's why we were getting more flowers. But we couldn't. Why not? There's why. Bees! I want to talk to you. We've got a problem, Rat. Just look at these droopy flowers you gave me. We've got a bigger problem than the droopy flowers. We've got a bee problem. Bees? What bees? Oh, those bees. If you need me, I'll be uh, somewhere else. There's only one thing to be done. We have to talk. Bananas to bees. Uh. Hello, bees. How are you today? Uh, angry. angry. I'm here to help, Bananas. Thank you, Amy. We need all the help we can get. Please tell us what's upsetting you. Flowers. Like the ones we picked. <gasps> Is this about the Bananas picking flowers? Thumbs up. I've got it. Bees collect nectar from flowers. No flowers means no nectar, which means no honey. So, by picking their flowers... We were taking away the bees' food. We only wanted to share the flowers. We're so sorry, bees. What can we do to make the bees happy? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. Instead of picking flowers... We'll plant flowers. Is that OK? I think that means yes, Bananas. It's flower planting time! Much as I like flowers at home, I like them even better in the fields. Wild flowers should be left to grow naturally. We know that now. Oh, we won't pick them again. We didn't help you either, Bananas. We shouldn't have made you give us all those flowers. And we won't do it again either. Are we doing a good job, B? That buzz sounds like a yes. To show that there are no hard feelings, Bananas, the bees have a present for you. Honey! And you know what that means? Lots of munchy honey cakes. For all our friends. When can we have them, Bananas? Just as soon as we finish planting these flowers, Morgan. So let's get planting! One more piece, B2. One more it is, B1. Another great fix-it job, B2. Just one of many great fix-it jobs, B1. Hmm, I have just one small question, B2. What's that, B1? Do you think we use too much black tape to fix things? I hadn't thought of that. Maybe we should take a look. I think you're right, B1. There's black tape everywhere. But how can we fix things if we don't use black tape? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We have to learn about fixing things properly. And there's one person who can tell us all we need to know. It's Let's Visit Charlie time! After you, B1. After you, B2. Thank you! Oh, uh, after you again, B2. Oh, thanks, B1. <laughs> you want me to teach you, Bananas? You're the best fixer we know, Charlie. You can teach us all about how to fix things properly. Without having to use lots of black tape all the time. I'd love to teach you about repairing things, Bananas. Jamarama! We knew you'd help us. And there's no better time for your first lesson than right now. Banana-rific! 
Let's start with the basic tools you need for repairing things. The screwdriver, the spanner, and the hammer. Pajama-tastic! Now let's get fixing. Thank you, Charlie. But, uh, but bananas! Bye, Charlie! Bananas, wait! Oh, dear. Now, where did I put that phone? Now that we have the right tools, we can fix anything. And we can fix things for our friends, too. I know. Why don't we visit the teddies? Yes, they must need something fixed. And we can do it for them. Do you see that, B1? I see it, B2. Amy! Hello, Bananas. This is your lucky day, Amy. Is it? We'll have that fixed in no time. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Uh, uh, what are you fixing? This wobbly wheel, of course. It will wobble no more. But that wheel's always wobbled. It's no problem. And it never will be a problem. Not after we fix it. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Bananas? You bet. These are Charlie's special tools. We've just been to his place for a lesson. There you go, Amy. Try it out. OK. Hey! It doesn't wobble. Another great fix-it job. By the Fix-It Bananas. Thanks, Bananas. Our, Our pleasure, pleasure, Amy. Let's find more things to fix, B1. Right with you, B2. Morgan's always got stuff that's broken. But it won't be broken for much longer. Morgan! Gosh, the bananas really did fix this wheel. Uh, well, I think they did. Let us do that, Lulu. Because that's a fixing job. What do you mean, Bananas? Hmm, this stand is all shaky. You don't want to paint on a shaky stand. But, Bananas, it's shaky because you're shaking it. It won't be shaky after we fix it. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Are you sure this will work, Bananas? Nothing could be easier, Lulu. Just leave it to us. There you go. See? No more shakes. Oh, that does seem better. All in a day's fixing. For the Fix-It Bananas. Thank you so much, Bananas. Where did I put that phone? Aha! I knew you were in here somewhere. Hello? Morgan, how are you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. I'll be over straight away. Now that we've helped our friends, B2, it's time to do some fixing for ourselves, B1. La, 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 la. Lulu, stop. Did the bananas fix anything for you? Oh, yes. And they did a great job. No, they didn't. What? Anything the bananas fix doesn't stay fixed. It just gets worse. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen, and it's my fault. The bananas said that you gave them a lesson in fixing things, Charlie. I did, but I didn't. Uh, they were so excited about our first lesson, they didn't stay for the lesson. But they did a good job on my easel. They fixed your easel? Stand back, everyone! <laughs> oh, bananas! All done, B1. Fixed to perfection. Everything's like new again. And we've fixed it without any big black tape. There's only one thing we need to do now. Find a use for all this black tape. Hmm. Bananas! That 
that's the teddies. Maybe they have more things for us to fix. Great. Bananas. That's Charlie. Huh, he must want to see what his best fixing students are doing. Then let's let them in. Bananas. Stop your work. No more fixing. There is no more fixing. Because we fixed everything. Everything? Everything that needed fixing is fixed. Bananas, be very quiet. And slowly walk to the door. Don't make any sudden movements. Is this a game? A fun game? No questions, Bananas. Just leave the house quickly. But why? What's happening? What's wrong with our house? It's your fixing, Bananas. Nothing you fix stays fixed. But we use Charlie's special tools. Why did things go wrong? Because learning to fix things properly takes lots of time and training. It does? It does. And we didn't spend enough time. You didn't. Or learn enough lessons. Correct. We're sorry. It's okay, Bananas. Everything can be fixed and we'll help fix it. And while we do it, I'll give you lots of lessons about how to fix things properly. Oh, thanks, Charlie. And you too, Teddies. Then, then we'll, we'll really be, be the, the Fix-It Bananas. I suggest that we all start bright and early tomorrow morning. But before we do that... You're all invited to afternoon tea in our back garden. It's our special way of saying thank you. See you all in one hour. Wow, Bananas, this looks terrific. Splendid indeed. What delicious food. Thanks, everyone. Come and eat. Thanks, Thanks bananas. bananas. Is this table strong enough for all this food? It should be. We fixed it only last week. You what? was close. We could have had the worst accident ever. But we saved everything. <laughs> Oops. Now we remember. We fixed those chairs too. Sorry. Oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs>